starting with the title of his new book about the history of environmentalism in America, Silent Spring Revolution, author Douglas Brinkley recognizes the role of a woman from Pennsylvania. Rachel Carson grew up here in Pennsylvania, enjoying the outdoors in a state which has the most miles of streams of any in the continental United States and ranks sixth for state parks. She graduated from Pennsylvania College for Women, now Chatham University, and then decided to study oceanography before she had even been to sea. She wrote three popular books about the oceans, won a National Book Award, and developed a storytelling style that added to the punch of her last and greatest book. In 1962, Silent Spring, Carson helped readers understand that spraying pesticides like DDT, testing nuclear bombs, and pouring chemicals into streams poured a cumulative threat. Brinkley is a presidential historian. His book touches on the administrations of Truman and Eisenhower, but focuses on the presidencies of Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon. Kennedy loved to sail and established the first national seashores as companions to national parks, and he negotiated bans on nuclear testing. Johnson was unmatched for his ability to designate scenic rivers, national parks, and seashores, but largely uncredited for his preservation because his environmental attacks on Vietnam with Agent Orange and other chemicals. Nixon set up the EPA, signed the Clean Air and Endangered Species Act, and banned DDT, an action now credited with saving the bald eagle and other species from extinction. These men and women are part of a cast that includes Albert Schweitzer, Martin Luther King, and Cesar Chavez, authors Edward Albee, Wallace Stegner, and Aldo Liebe Leopold, photographer Ansel Adams, the Sierra Club's David Brower, and lawmakers like Idaho Senator Frank Church, and two Pennsylvania Republicans, John Saylor and Leon Gavin, who were early protectors of wilderness and wild birds.